This is a video on how to work on the tips of your needles. Um, this helps you to get an even gauge and um, neatens up your knitting quite a bit. So I'm going to start out by showing how to do this with holding the yarn in your right hand and then I'll show the same thing with holding the yarn in the left hand. What uh, determines the stitch size is the barrels of the needles. But when you're creating the stitch, you actually want to work on the tips of the needles. So we go through, we've just put the tip through, throw the yarn, and pull it back. So I'm working on the tips of both needles. And when I pull the stitch up, it comes to the barrel of the needle, and that's what creates the size. So the next stitch is now on the tip of the left needle. I put the tip of the right needle through, make a stitch, and pull, bring it onto the barrel. I'll do this a few more times and then I'll show you the advantages. So I'm just using the tips of the needles, just throwing enough of the needle through to be able to catch the yarn. What I see a lot of people doing is pulling the yarn really far apart in between the stitches, putting this needle all the way through, throwing the yarn through, pulling it way back like this. This yarn's on the barrel here, this is the yarn on the barrel here, and they knit like this, and they get very uneven and loose tension. So the way you, can you see already how big those three stitches are from doing that? So the ideal way to get even, nice, consistent tension is to work on the tips of the needles. Do not pull the work apart between the two needles. So you want to keep the space, once I pull the stitches over, you want to keep this space here narrow. You don't want to pull the needles apart. You want to keep them close together. And I'm going to show how to do this purling also. It's the same concept. and then we'll do it uh, continental. Just put the tip through, throw the yarn, pull the stitch through, and the barrel sizes it. Now I bring the next stitch up onto the tip. I put the tip through, just put the tips through, And I'm never pulling the work apart like this. I'm keeping the work in close proximity across the gap between the stitches. That one went through a bit far. And as you practice this in the beginning, you're going to feel like all the stitches are going to fall off your needles, but they won't. And just like anything else, after you practice it, you can become very proficient at it and you will immediately notice an improvement in your knitting. So I'm almost to the end of the pearls and I'll show how to do this continental. Let me know what you think. Um, if you think this helps you, leave a comment. Okay, now throw, I'm picking continental, same thing. You just put the tip of the needle through. I'm working on the tips of the needles, tip to tip. Then it slides back, tip to tip, slides back. And I'm never pulling the work apart like this. I'm keeping it close together. It minimizes the movements. You can knit really fast once you get the hang of this. This is how I normally knit, is continental, just using the tips. I get very good tension. Now we'll do the purling. Just tips, see? on the tips. When the stitch slides back to the barrel, that's when it gets sized. But in the meantime, you're not creating extra yarn in between the stitches by stretching it out. You do not want to do this. That's a no-no. 
that's going to give you very uneven tension. And you can see I just slide the next stitch up with my second finger, slide it up into position. This finger's pulling it back, this finger's sliding up, and I rarely have to change the yarn in my hand. I can just speed along like this really quickly. I hope this helps you. Be sure to check out my other videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share uh, these with your friend. You can see all that uneven tension in there for when I was pulling it apart. And down here, look how nice it was when I knitted before I started. And then this is up in here when I was doing all that. You can just see a huge difference. So share my videos. Thank you. See you next time. Happy knitting.